me as me alone. All right, great. So let's go. Jesus love me, this I know. It's bubbling. So let's start. Three, four. Unmute your mics. We're going to sing. So let's go. Jesus love me, this I know. Three, four. Jesus Sana helps. Come, let's go, Sana. Let's go. Since we know the song. All right, sing it again. It's me, it's me, oh Lord. Three, four. It's me, it's me, oh Lord. Sana, na, 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 It's me, it's me, oh Lord. Sana, na, 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 It's me, oh Lord. Sana, na, 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 It's me, it's me, oh Lord. Sana, na, 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 it's my father, I'm a sister, but it's me, oh Lord. Right. That's a nice song. Very nice song. Okay. Good. Well, it's nice to see you all from after a long break. We had a very long break, right? So it's good to see you all out. We cannot go out because of how the COVID has been, you know, it's is growing rapid and we don't want to get sick. So we can't leave our homes now, All right? But, um, but it's nice to see you. all of you are safe and you're not sick. I'm happy for that, All right? Good. So Jerome, you're doing devotion for that. I will give you all just to say something, one thing, one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so everybody get a chance to say one thing. All right, good. So I'm going with the person I'm seeing right well on the screen next to me. That is Kaya and Elena first. Say one thing you're feeling happy about today. I'm feeling happy about today seeing my friends, even though I can't see them. For real. Okay, Elena. Elena. I am happy today because I can see my friends. 
you are also happy to do it because you see your friends. All right, great. Um, the next people I'm seeing is Leila and Malachi. What are you all are happy about today? I'm happy that it's the Sabbath and Jesus blessed me. I'm happy because Jesus blessed me and I could get to see my friends. Great. Sana, what are you happy about today? I'm happy that it's Sabbath and even though, well, everybody, not everybody in my family is here, which is my granny, because she died, yeah, I'm still having a fun time. Okay, that is great, Sana. Natanya, what are you happy about? I'm thankful that I to get a new one today. You're thankful because what? I didn't hear that one properly, Natanya. I'm, I'm thankful because I got a long break before we started. Okay, great. You were thankful for that long break. That's good, Natanya. All right, is Andrew, what you are happy about? Um, I'm happy about um I'm happy about it, Sabbath and us being able to communicate and to celebrate the Sabbath and to be in God's presence. Great. Um, Matthias and Malachi, you all are on? You see Matthias and Malachi? Yes. What you all are happy about today? I'm happy that, that I get to see my friends for for. Uh, Four adventures. Great, Matthias. What about you, Malachi? I'm happy about that everything in life is perfect. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, Sophia. You next. Sophia, are you on? Sophia. All right. Okay, well, when Sophia gets on, I'm seeing that, I don't know who's on there, but when Sophia gets on, she will tell us. So let's go on to, to Rome, yes, our um, Bible, our devotion for the, today. All right. Okay, so everyone can see my screen? All right. So the name of our story. Yes, sir. All right, great. For our devotion today. As root, a love story. All right, so let's go. If you could meet your great grandparents, their parents, and all the people who came before you in your family, you might be surprised by what kind of people they were. In the Bible, one of Jesus' human ancestors was root, a Moabite a mobile lady who used to worship idols. The story of Ruth starts in Israel. After the time of Samson, when God's people stopped trusting and obeying God, a terrible famine struck the land. Anyone knows what a famine is? Yes, no food, no food and food. All right, one at a time, one at a time. <laughs> Um, Kaya, what's a famine? A famine is when there's no rain and, mm -hmm. and the farmers can't grow crops. Right. So there's no water. All right. Um, Sana, yes, you have an answer for me. A famine is a time when everything is dry, you know, everywhere is filled of dust and it's super duper hot and a lot of animals will die in that. <laughs> okay, all right, so we have all the answers. Everyone um, would have given all the answers already. And it's written right here, right? A famine is when no fruit or crops grow and animals sometimes even die from hunger, right? So if you can't get water, right? Because rain isn't falling, there wouldn't be any crops and animals will not be able to eat the food that they need, and by extension, humans, right? 
One man, Elimelech, left Bethlehem with his wife and two sons looking for food. He went to Moab, a country where people worshipped idols. Things did not go well for Elimelech and his, fam and his family in Moab. He died, followed by his two sons. His wife, Naomi, was left along with the son's two wives, Ruth and Orpah. Both girls were from Moab. Naomi, now a widow, heard that the Lord had visited his people, giving them bread. She decided to return to her homeland, but what would the two girls do? Naomi advised them to stay in Moab and marry again. Orpha went back to her own family, but Ruth refused. Instead, Ruth said a lovely poem which promised she would never leave her mother-in-law. Naomi's old friends were glad when she came back, to, came back home to Bethlehem, but she asked them to call her Mara, bitter, instead of Naomi, pleasant. For the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me. Naomi had returned with nothing except Ruth. Although Ruth had worshipped idols, like most people in Moab, she had turned from that to worship the living God of Israel. Ruth worked hard to make sure Naomi had, had enough to eat. Every day she followed the harvesters in the field and picked up the leftover grain. Boaz, the owner of the field, heard how good Ruth was to her mother-in-law. When he met her, Boaz helped her by ordering her harvesters, ordering his harvesters to leave handfuls of grain behind on purpose. Boaz began to like Ruth. When Ruth told Naomi about Boaz and his kindness, the older lady praised God. The man is a relative of ours, one of our near kinsmen. As time passed, Boaz wanted to marry Ruth and look after Naomi and her family's land, but another near relative had the first chance. This man wanted the land, but he didn't want Ruth for his wife. The law said he could not have one without the other. In those days, people didn't shake hands to settle a deal. Boaz took off his sandal and publicly gave it to the other man. The business was settled. Ruth would become his wife. Now she and Naomi were part of Boaz's family. Boaz and Ruth called their first son Obed. He became grandfather to David, the great king of Israel. But even more wonderfully, baby Obed was, was ancestor to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus came through David's family, family line to be king of kings and the savior of the world. That's it, right? So this story is about the great, great rel um, grand relatives of Jesus, right? And you can see, if you um, follow the story, you can see all the different people who would have come before leading up the way to Jesus, right? Okay. So that's it for our devotion today, right? And we will move quickly along into our um, sorry. What's to go on? Yeah, we had went on to Van device. Hello. Hi, Sammy. All right, great. All right. Okay, so, so we'll move on to our, um, our start of activities. Yes. Hi, everybody. Hi, Sammy. Okay. Yeah. So as they come in, Sammy, you got to lead away. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to stand. Attention. <laughs> now, that is slow. Not because we had a break. That means everybody has to be slow, right? Okay. Sammy. Right, you ready to say the pledge? So, give out the order for, for us to say the pledge. Order arms. Present arms, Sammy. 
three, one. Three to one. Because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. All right, great, Sammy. Order arms. All right, is Order Andrew, arms. Is Andrew the law? Jesus wants me to be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. Great. All right, Kaya and Elena, the song. We are adventurers. At home, at school, at play, we are adventurers. Learning everything to be on the to be like We are Great, that's very good. All right. So we are going straight into our book and we reach our the part we reach is my family and it was good that we had a story about root right my family right so gina jesus lineage showed that root was part of his family right and that is way way back because jesus didn't come through david he came through joseph which was joseph was part of david's family all right and uh, we go straight to exodus 2012. anybody know exodus 2012. anybody can say it ah uh, exodus 2012. Yes, Sammy, say it. I know you will say it. Honor thy father and thy mother that your days may be long upon the land which, which thy mother which thy Lord, and thy Lord has thy given, given thee. thee. All right. Okay. All right. So it is honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God give it the Exodus 20, 12, right? And this is something all of us supposed to know. We did this already, right? All of us supposed to know this sex. So, um, Nathaniel, Nathaniel. Yes, yes. Yes. Right. Good, right. So everybody, we are going to say it, right? Lele and Malachi, I'm not seeing you all. You're, you're going off. All right. So here we go. Three, four. Honor. My father, and my mother, 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 and and my mother, and my mother, that I may be long upon the land, which is the Lord thy God give it All right, so we all have different families, right? Some might have um, a grandparent living with them. Some might have cousins and, and nieces and uncles and aunts living with them. Some might have um, just their parents alone living with them, right? Some might have just their mother or only their father living with them, okay? But we all have families, right? Good. We all come from a family. We all are part of a family, right? So, 
Let's start with the busy bee class. The busy bee class, right? Family, we are talking about family here. Um, because my mess, yes. I don't really have the book. Where your book? Um, well, you gotta find your book. But right. we're looking on the bookshelf where we always keep it. You're looking on the bookshelf where you always go and find your book. You have to find your book. Right? When you come to club, you have to find your book. Isn't that so? Huh? All right. So in your busy bee class, that's page on page 24, we're supposed to draw and paint um, a picture showing something you like about each of your family member. Right. Also in Sunbeam on page 25, you have to ask a member of your family to tell some of their favorite memories and draw it out. Right? And builders. Right. Builders. All right. And builders, you have to share one way your family have changed. Right? Good. So um the let me see who is in, in um busy bee. Busy bee, Natanya. What is an what is something you remember about your family? You have to, you know. Can you tell me something fun about your family? You're being together with your family, Natanya? 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 Yes, ma'am. Tell me something fun about your family. My family likes to Your family what? My family likes to run with me. Oh, they like to run. So you all run. That's great. All right. Matthias, what about your family? What you do about do with your family? What is something nice you did with your family? Tell me, Matthias. Play with them. You play with them. Your family likes to play. What, what kind of games, Matthias? Tag. And last year, I played tag with my dad. And he was well scored. Uh, okay, great. Yes, Mal um, Malachi. Whoa. And football. And football. All right, so Malachi Alexander this time. What what fun things you like to do with your family? Um, look what I did. Oh, you draw it out already, Matthias. That is great. Okay, great. Good. Good, Matthias. Yes, Malachi Alexander. What nice things you like to do with your family? Um, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You don't do anything with them? I only do it with one person. You do it with one person? Worship. You only worship with one person? You don't worship with the whole family? Yes, I do, but I don't really do anything else with my family. Oh, okay. You don't eat with them? Ah? Huh? We go and walk sometimes together. Right. Right, so that is we stuff together much. Okay, so that is an activity that you did. We you went to worship. The big door. We went to the everywhere. To, we went to the bago together. We went to the nylon pool together. Right. We went to the hotel Good. together. Good. We went playing together. We went back on a plane together. <laughs> and we woke up the exact same time. Right. Great. All right. So you see, there's a lot of things that we could do with our family, right? So Natanya liked to run with his family. Matthias liked to play with his family. Malachi likes to worship and stuff with his family. Great. All right. So let's go with Sunbeam class. Tell me what you have to ask a member of your family to tell some of their favorite memories. So I'm giving you a chance. To go and ask, that is Kaya Sana. It's only Kaya Sana? Yes. Only Kaya and Sana. To go and ask a member of your family what is their favorite memories. 
one of their favorite memories of 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 yeah one of their favorite memories go ahead go ahead and you go ahead and ask them while i talk with the um builders all right so builders while they do that builders share one way your family have changed and tell how you feel about that okay anybody have any changes in their family but uh malachi Layla, samuel sophia anybody you all had any changes in your family yes what we spend more time together you spend more time together and how you feel about that i feel happy okay all right so explain to me how you mean you spend more time well how how is that what I you did do stuff together what kind of stuff like we when we used to have a pool we used to swim together uh -huh. we used Great. to walk together and exercise walk we used together. to ride our bikes together with daddy okay great all right so in your book on page 25 you're going to see there you need to write for me the change what happened in your family and how you felt and what you did all right i know sana and kaya back but just now okay malachi tell me something what change in your family what changes you see happening in your family and how you feel about that hey, malachi what has changed in your family? Hi. Emma, Ma My dad, you are very funny. Yeah? No, yeah. he's a bit angry looking. <laughs> <laughs> so he was funny now he becomes angry. So how do you feel about that? A bit unhappy. You're unhappy at the same time. Uh huh. Yeah, go ahead. Uh -huh. That was a change. That was a change. Say, so don't like that change. Okay. All right. Okay. So, what caused that? How did that come about? I didn't know. You don't know. So, you need to talk to him. All right. You need to have a one on one talk with him and find out, hey, all the time he was happy. What's going on, Dad? Eh? You need to have a one on one talk with him. Okay. All right, Samuel, tell me, Samuel, Sammy? Yes? What change happened in your family? Any changes in your family? You put on the camera? Yes, yeah. we, have, we, have, we have on the camera, I'm seeing him. Yes, yeah, so what change in your family? Any changes in your family? We just pray together. Yeah, so that is something that was a change. How that is something that was changed or something, or is that something that always happened? Same. All right, so Samuel is thinking about it. I'll leave you to think about it. Sophia, are you on? I'm seeing. Yes, yes. All right, so great. So you you up to date with what we are talking about? Can you repeat that, please? Are you up to date on what we are talking about? We are talking about changes in family. You have any changes in your family? Yes. Tell me what change in your family. They kind and and they worship with me. Okay. And how you feel about that? I feel happy. You feel happy. Sometimes so exciting. Something exciting. So how that change came about? You know? Huh? How how this is a change. It's a change that happened in your family. So how that change came about? You know? Well. You're thinking about it. All right, I feel the change came about because how we in COVID and everybody's home now and everybody have to be around everybody now. I, we have to be close with our family and therefore we are going to do more things with our family, right? Good, 
So that is a nice one um, thing. Sammy, Sammy, you ready for me? Yes. Yeah, so tell me, I asked you, how, how you feel about it and how that change came about? My daddy start praying with us on WhatsApp because he is away. Oh, that is a big change. So he starts praying with you and you feel how? Happy about it? Sad? Disappointed? What? Happy, you, yeah. you are feeling happy. Great. All right, so you see, things change in our family. All right, so Sana and Ikaya, you're supposed to go and ask somebody about their favorite memories, right? I see Kaya hand up. So Kaya, tell me what's going on with you. What memories? Who will, who give you a memory? Come on. I asked my mommy, and she said her favorite memory was when me and Elena and Elena were born. Great. So you know you're gonna draw that for me, right? You're gonna draw that out for me. I don't know you're gonna do that, but you're gonna draw it out for me. All right, Saya. <laughs> well, one. Um, my my mommy and I think has memories. Well, my mommy's memories are making pancakes on Sunday morning with her family. Um, and the other one from Uncle Kyle is, well, his memory is, his fun memory is when they went to Tortola and when I was born as well. Okay, great. So you need to draw either one of them for me, okay? All right. Okay. Okay. So in our book, there are different, in, our, in the Bible, there are different kinds of families. All right. There are families. Um, all right. So there are the Moses families. Moses found out he had a brother and a sister. Now Moses, although he was born right from his parents, his parents had to give him up. Right? Some children are like that. You know, some children in the world, their parents couldn't take care of their child, so they have to give them up. And so Moses' mother had to give him up, and she gave him up. And he went to Pharaoh's sister, who took him. Right? So she adopted him. So Moses was the adopted son of Pharaoh's sister. But later on, Moses found out that he had a brother and a sister. And he was very happy about that. Samuel's family. Samuel's mother prayed for a child. And she told the Lord that she will Gave up her son to do the Lord's work. So when he was old enough, she gave the priest, she gave um, priest Eli Samuel. So Samuel was also adopted by the priest. Esther family. Now Esther lived with her cousin Mordecai. Her mother and father was there. She was living with her cousin. And that is her only relative that she knew. She knew Cousin Mordecai, right? And Cousin Mordecai was there with her all along. So these three family, we see Moses who was adopted and found his brothers and sisters. We saw Samuel who was also adopted by Priest Eli, right? And then we saw Esther who only had her cousin. Okay, let's see the other who again? We have Jesus' family. All right, Jesus' family. Now, Jesus is everybody's family. All right, he belongs to everybody. Although he was born to, to, to um, Joseph and Mary, but he had everybody in his heart as his family. All right? So that's why we you see they're blended families because he belonged to everybody. He did not say, okay, I am just only Joseph and Mary child. He said, I am brothers and sisters, everybody. 
okay, we have the Philippian jailer's family. Um, Paul and Silas told the guards about Jesus. Now, this is talking about changing family, right? When Paul and Silas was was guarded in the in the um, jail, and the jail, remember that story when the jail earthquake and the earthquake opened up the jail and 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 Paul and Silas was there, but they didn't leave and because they didn't want the guard to, to die. And the guard was very happy. And because of, because of that, he gave his life, or he was baptized, he gave his life to Jesus. He believed in Jesus and what, you know, because just because of Paul and Silas, right? And his whole family was baptized. That was a big change in his family because his whole family now, you know, believe in God. Now we have Benjamin family. Now, Benjamin had his mother and father, yes, but his mother died when he was born. And he only had his brother, Joseph. But Joseph had, what, stepbrothers, also Benjamin. Stepbrothers, right? And they grew up together, right? But the big change in Benjamin is that he didn't grow up with his mother because his mother died, all right? Who's the next tree? Um, then we have, who we have there? David's family. Now, the changes in David's family is that David, yes, he was a shepherd, and yes, he was, he chose to be the king, but King Saul did not like David, right? Although King Saul allowed David to marry his daughter, right? He, because of his jealousy, he allowed David to divorce his daughter. Reason being because King Saul didn't like the fact that Jesus, um, David was the one to be king. Right? And he wanted to keep the throne. And because of that, he was fighting David. And he didn't want to see David. So, um, Michelle have to divorce David because of King Saul's jealousy. And that was a great impact in his family. Um, Cain and Abel family. Cain's family. Right. Now we had Cain and Abel, and because you know, who who was who was the one who who listened to Jesus or to God about offering? Anybody can tell me who was the one who listened, Cain or Abel? Anybody know that story? Abel. Right. Abel. Abel listened, and he gave a lamb as an offering as worship. And Cain didn't like that. And because Cain didn't like that, he didn't understand. And he and he got angry and he strike back at Abel and kill him. Kill his own brother. Peter's family. Peter's heals, um, Jesus heals Peter's mother-in-law, right? So Peter's mother-in-law was sick, right? And Jesus healed. And Peter was very happy when Jesus healed his mother-in-law. Who else again? Timothy's family. And we have Timothy's and Abraham family. The changes in Timothy's family. Extended, he had an extended family. Timothy's mother and grandmother, Eunice and Lois, respectfully instructed Timothy's in God's word from the time he was quite small. So Timothy grew up with his grandmother and his mother and they teach him the word of the Lord, right? And he was happy for that, you know? Abraham's family. Abraham married Sarah and they had a son when he was very old. Also, Abraham left his father's home and went to a place where God says, you know, 
Abraham leave home. He didn't even know where he was going. All he knows, the Lord told him to leave and he moved out when he was, what, 75 years old and he left with his wife and, and went out to a place where God said, this is your new home. He didn't even know where, where it was. He just followed. All right. So there's all kind of different things that goes on in our family and it, and it shows in the Bible, you know, um, a different kind of families it have different kind of families in in the bible so in the builders you will see you you need to say which one of the family is like yours all right good i right, builders yes sophia and leila samuel Right, you need to, um, that's on page 25. You need to say which one of most, so, so the Bible family is most like yours, and the family is like mine. They have to say why, why it is it like, all right, okay. So, let's go back to BCB. Y'all draw anything for me? Um, not well, like some go back tire, to BCB, so. yeah. And Matthias, no, what she said Matthias about you here. already. What she said about you to do here? We had to, we had to, we had to search. All right, Matthias, yes, draw something. Yes, Malachi, Malachi Alexander, what did you draw? This is my mommy helping me do my schoolwork. That's daddy cooking um chicken on the stove. Uh -huh. And that's Layla playing basketball with me. Uh -huh. And that's just give me a pencil when I need it, when I have to um, do homework. Great. Very good. Um, Nathaniel, did you draw anything? Yes, miss. What did you draw? I draw my dad cooking making eat while I was waiting on the couch. Great, great, good. All right. Good, very good. So let's move on, all right? What's um, on mute? What's on mute? Can I share mine, Miss? Yes, you can share yours. Go ahead, Matthias. Can go I ahead, share, share mine, Miss? Yes, Matthias, go ahead, share it. That my mother loves me and my father do, do study stuff, silly uh -huh. stuff, and, and my brother plays football with me. Okay, great. Very nice. Very good. All right. So I can't care. I can't care. I can't care. It's supposed to be a game, but it's not really a game. Um, I can't care. All right, so you all have to write out page 27, Exodus 20, 12, and then your father and your mother, right? Um, so you all could do that. That's homework. Um, that's the eager. Miss, I did that already. You did it already. Great. All right. Um, Jerome, you have the puppet thing? Yeah. All right, great. So we're going Ready? to watch a show, yeah, on the puppet. And um, this is uh, talking about disagreement. It's on disagreement, right? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So we have a short puppet show for you all. Let me just share my sound. Right, okay, so Kids Connection, come with me and let's explore. Kids Connection, Kids Connection, 
You're hearing? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, okay. Um, it's not. Yes, Uncle Jerome. All right, hold on one second, right? Yes, Uncle Jerome. change Abram's name to Abraham because God will promise to make him the father of a great nation. But that comes later. So for now, we'll call him Abram. Our story is found in Genesis chapter 13. God had blessed Abram with great riches and a lot of livestock. God had also blessed Lot, Abram's nephew, with livestock. Lot was traveling with Abram. Verse 6 tells us the land was unable to support them as long as they stayed together, for they had so many possessions that they could not stay together. And there was quarreling between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. Verse 8 says, So Abram said to Lot, Please, let's not have quarreling between you and me, or between your herdsmen and my herdsmen. Since we are relatives, isn't the whole land before you? Separate from me. If you go to the left, I'll go to the right. If you go to the right, I'll go to the left. So the Bible tells us that Lot looked and chose the land that was well watered. You could say that he chose the best for himself. The Bible also tells us that Lot chose to live near Sodom. Verse 13 tells us, Now the men of Sodom were evil sinning immensely against the Lord. So, maybe Lot's choice was not so great. Abram wanted to be a peacemaker. He didn't want to fight or argue with Lot. Part of being a peacemaker means that you don't get everything you want. That's just part of compromise. Abram might have really wanted the land that Lot took, but sacrificing something that you want to keep the peace is a part of compromise. But the story doesn't end there. After Lot leaves, God talks to Abram. In verse 14, God says to Abram, Look from the place where you are. Look north and south, east and west, for I will give you and your offspring forever all the land that you see. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth, so that if anyone could count the dust of the earth, then your offspring could be counted. Get up and walk around the land through its length and width, for I will give it to you. Wow! God begins to make a promise to Abram. He promised to make him the father of a great big family. And all the land that Abram might have wanted, God promised it would be his and his family's. Sometimes things don't seem fair. Maybe it didn't seem fair that Lot took the best land. Maybe it would have been fairer for Abram to have taken the best land. He was older and the family leader. But God would bless Abram for being a peacemaker. 
What we have to remember is that God is better than fair. If God was just fair, then you and I would get what we deserve. No, God shows us his grace, his love. God sacrificed himself for us. God wants us to be a peacemaker. So, uh, did that help? You? Uh, let's go get pizza. <laughs> uh, no, not tacos, pizza. <laughs> guys, guys, uh, Stuffy, how about this? How about you all go get tacos this week, and next week, go get pizza? But that means Squat gets what he wants, but I don't get what I want. That doesn't seem fair. Well, well, remember, God wants us to be peacemakers. That means that uh, sometimes we have to sacrifice what we want for someone else. Remember, it isn't so much about being fair as it is about being like Christ, being willing to sacrifice our desires for someone else. Romans 12, 18 tells us, if possible, as far as it depends on you, Live at peace with everyone. Peace is what we should work towards in all our relationships, friends and family. Okay, I see what you're saying. Squawk, let's go get those tacos. But can we get pizza next time? <laughs> okay, you're welcome. So, uh, you're buying, right? <laughs> well, I mean... You did want tacos. Well, how about a burrito? disagreements, right? Um, so, Kaya, tell me some ways how you deal with some of your conflict in your family. Um, take off the One way you can deal with the fight in your family is by moving away from the fight or moving away from the person who you're fighting with. Okay, Sana, how do you deal with conflict in your family? Well, I can stop it by telling them to make an agreement to put one like when I just stop the disagreement with me and you know, when we were, when all of us wanted to be married, Kai wanted to mar be married, I wanted to be married, Elena wanted to be married. So what I said was there are so many Marys in the Bible, all of us could be one of them. So I said, Kai could be married, well, the mother of Jesus, I could be 
Wow, Mary, this is the of Martha. And Elena could be Mary Magdalene. Okay. So you found the solution to the problem. Right. Yep. All right. And Kaya, she steps away from the problem, from the from the conflict until everything quiet down and then come back, right? Kaya? That's what you said? Right. What about Natalia? How do you deal with disagreement and conflict? And Natalia? Think about it. Is Andrew I here for the day? Tell me how do you deal with disagreement and conflict? I'm going to be done many and you very well. How do you deal with disagreement and conflict? Well, um, you deal with disagreement where you um, well, when you don't agree with somebody, you shouldn't just start with a fight or something. You should just um try to get the other person's point, and then just don't go any further with. Okay. So you try to just to hear them out here. Yeah, so you listen to them. Yeah. Okay. Um, Malachi, Manswell, can you tell me how you deal with this uh, disagreement? I would. I would tell everybody to calm down and tell them what they want to be. Okay. You After what they want to be, I mean. Okay, so you be the peacemaker and you say, all right, everybody calm down. And then you try to, find, you know, hear, hear what they want to do, right? Um, Sophia, tell me how you deal with disagreement. Sophia? Sophia, you hear me? I tell mommy or daddy. Oh, so you just tell mommy or daddy. That's how you deal with it. All right. Sammy, how do you deal with it? Samuel? Um, um how you deal with disagreement or conflict? How do I deal with disagreement? Yeah, so if you disagree with somebody, how you deal with it? I just let them have what they want. Oh, please. So you just, mommy, no comment in the back there. <laughs> yeah, so you just let them have what they want, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, truthfully, we all disagree sometimes, all right? And we will argue, or we might get upset, and we might stomp out. We might cry, we might not turn a blind eye, we will get upset because this is if somebody takes something that belongs to us, you know, uh, or if I had something and I want something from somebody, or, you know, I, I will get upset and people get upset, they stamp out, some people cry, some people hit, some people um, go and break up other people's toys. We do all kinds of things at the moment because we are angry, right? Because most of the time in disagreements and conflicts, we, are, we get angry. And sometimes some of us cannot, you know, handle being angry. And we do things that is not nice, right? But if you listen to what happened to Abraham and Lot, all the Lot wanted the nice piece of land and Abraham, well, he wanted it. He listened to what Lot was saying 
and he said listen all right you want that you go ahead you pick you pick and i will choose because he wanted to be the peacemaker he wanted to settle he didn't want to fight with his cousin at that time he said i'm i'm listening to what you're saying this is what you want fine although lot wasn't angry i mean abraham wasn't angry with lot it was really abraham's um, people his servants they were fighting really right abraham was not fighting with lot right and you know and he wanted to make be the peacemaker but sometimes when we get angry you know we say things we do things which is not nice and somehow we have to go and say we are sorry we have to apologize we have to fix back whatever we break or buy back whatever we break stuff like that because somehow we some of us don't know how to handle being you know angry and being in disagreement with with each other right um Sometimes we don't like what our parents have to say and we get vexed, we want to slam the door and things like that, which is not nice, right? Because your parents are telling you things that is good for you, right? And they are protecting you and sometimes you doesn't like to hear it, right? But we must be good children and listen. When we are, when we are in disagreement, we must learn to listen. Calm down and listen to what the other person has to say, right? And hear what that person has to say. You have to think about the problem, you have to talk about it, and listen. And we have to look for a solution, right? Whatever it is, together, right? So, in BTB, that's Sunbeam, Sunbeam activity on page 27, well, we just show we just watch a puppet show on disagreement you need to say um you say what you did but you can say what happened in that uh, in that show okay all right so we just watch because they say puppet role play your choice and our choice was watching a video on conflict and therefore you say how it is you know what happened okay that's Kaya and Sana. Yeah, good. All right. I care. I could care. So, busy bee. No, builders. How can you care for your family members? Tell me something we can do to show that we care. Hmm. Leila. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Can I give them a card? You can give them a card. Malachi. Oh, so let's let's let me bring it home. Um when is when is Mother's Day? Tomorrow? Tomorrow is Mother's Day. Great. My mommy so told tell me. me. Right, great. So so we can't go out. We can't buy anything. Yes. So I'm gonna ask everybody yes. what it is they're going to do for their mother on Mother's yes. Day. This is showing how we care for our mother, okay? Sana, I'm seeing you first on my list. Sana, how can we care for our mom on Mother's Day? Well, what I have planned to do for Mother's Day, uh -huh. well, before they had the lockdown, Daddy bought a pop of brownie, um, a cooking, well, a recipe to make brownie. Uh -huh. So, and... I'm making a snakes and ladders board for her, and I made a card for her in school. I made two lip flowers with wood, three with them, three of them, some wood and three of the flowers. And I made a heart with some, well, some words in it as well. And I did a page saying Happy Mother's Day. That's a Everything I did so far. Okay, great. Kaya, tell me what. I have three things I want to do. I let her sleep late. Okay. And after she comes out of the bed, 
I'll give her a crown. Uh-huh. And last, I'll make breakfast for her and bring it to her in bed. Great. Wow. I wish I was there, Kaya. All right, Nathaniel, tell me what you're going to do for your mommy on Mother's Day. I made a present for my mommy. You made yesterday. a present eh? yesterday. Okay, so you're going to give it to her tomorrow? Yes, when it's Mother's Day. Okay, Lila and Malachi, tell me what you're going to do for your mom. I'm going to give her breakfast in bed Uh and and give her a hug and kiss Mm. with with flowers okay wow malachi what are you gonna do what i'm going to um give her bed in her bed, just like Lena said. We're uh-huh. going to go together, and I'm going to give her my cat I, I made. Uh-huh. And I'm going to, and that's it, Moses. It. Okay. Is Andrew, what are you going to do for Mother's Day? What I'm going to do for Mother's Day is um, I'm going to show my mom love and appreciation, and um, Probably um even make her craft um on Sunday okay. and make her breakfast, lunch, or even dinner. Okay, wow, a three meal course. Woo! Great. Sammy, what are you going to do for your mom on Mother's Day? I would be helpful and help her in the kitchen, prepare food. Uh-huh. So you're going to help mommy on Mother's Day. Great. Malachi and Matthias, what are you going to do for mom on Mother's Day? Um, I'm going to call for my mother and, and I'm going to hire it today. Okay. Malachi, what are you going to do for mom? I will make breakfast for mom, for my mommy, and I make a card. I didn't make a card yet for her. Okay, great. Sophia, what do you want to do? I make another thing for her. Okay, great. Sophia, what are you going to do? I'm going to... I'm going to buy her flowers. And Why are you going to buy flowers, Sophia? The place on lockdown. <laughs> but anyway, you can find a pharmacy. Maybe they might have flowers. I think um, Super Farm might have. Yeah, go ahead. And so you're going to buy flowers. What are you going to go do again? Go ahead. Sophia? 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 Something wrong with your mic? All right, Sophia, when you come back on, tell us, okay? But I'm happy. I, I, I like what you're going to do. You are showing your mother appreciation. And I like the fact that Sophia still wants to go out and buy flowers for her mom. That is so nice. I'm happy about that. All right? Good that you all could find ways to show love to your family. And it's just not only for on Mother's Day you must show love. You have... You know, on their birthdays, you know, and let's randomly show love to your parents and to your siblings and to your family on the whole, maybe a cousin, aunt, you know, things like that. Good. Seeing that we are on lockdown, we could call them and say hi, things, you know, or, uh, or, or sing for them, things like that we could do. 
to show we care about our family, right? Um, so busy builders on page 27, you have to show it have um, I care, and you have to show, write the name of each of the family members on the line below and say what you're going to do for them, right? Good. And that is your homework. So next time we come to class, we will do the awards. We are, I'm not going into, our, into the awards. We have three awards to do, which is um, the safety award, safety specialist award, the road safety award, and the wise short award, right? That's the three different award that is BCB, Sunbeam, and Billers. Those three awards. Um, we don't have a um, helping hand. We have a helping hand advance, right? So next time we come, we will do those three awards. But you all have the activities to finish up on that we talk about, you know, so finish that up. So next time when we come, we could do the awards. All right. Um, Stacy, I mean, Stacy, Sophia, you still, you still there? Yes, miss. Continue. Tell me what he was going to do for your mom. He was going to buy flowers. What else? Um, make her breakfast. Uh-huh. And give her love. Great. Yeah. That's a lot. That's plenty. That is so good, Sophia. That is so nice. She will love that. Yes, your mommy's, uh, mommy's going to love whatever you'll give them tomorrow. And make it a special day. Make it a nice day. Right? For your mommy, okay? All right. So, it is 4.23. We are going to close now. All right? So you're prepared for tomorrow. All the nice stuff you say you're going to do for your mom. I'm closing off early today so we could go and prepare after Sabbath, of course. Right? And um, see you all next time. We will do the other awards. So I'm going to turn you off to Jerome now. Jerome, you're going to close off. All right. Okay, so that was our first class on my family, right? We have about, I think, two more sessions. And um, let's make sure. Right, so by the end of this month, we'll be actually three quarter done with the books, right? And we are only in me, so we're going quite well. Yes. All right, so um, I hope you all would have learned everything that will have been said today and we and um you have some homework to do so you'll need to catch up on that um how has the book go, been going besides right with the, with the last two the first two sections how, how has the book been going your your workbooks your activity books you all have been completing your activities and completing your homework yeah hmm. okay, yeah being honest <laughs> all right, so I haven't to... done it. All right, so you need to catch up right now. Remember, the YouTube videos are up. So if you didn't make it to class, you can always go and check it out. Right? Um, for the guide, those who did the guide award last class, who did the guide award last class? Me. Yes. Right. All the Right. Right. Um, y'all are uh, you're supposed to fill out the um there was an activity sheet that you're supposed to complete. Right? I did okay. it so right, okay, great. Right, so we'll um we'll take a look at those and um when you are completed that, uh, with that sheet, once uh what you would have answered all the um the questions correctly, then you will be some your name will be submitted to have the guide award. Now, if you weren't here last class, right, which was about three weeks ago, um, you would, you can go to the YouTube channel and you can uh, run through the video with the guide award there. And then um, the activity sheet is in the group, right? 
you can tell your mommy and tell your daddy it's in the group all right so you just need to take that fill it out and then you will be able to get your award all right so we are about to wrap up i'm seeing everyone kind of nathaniel you okay come down all right <laughs> yes anna I did the award. I looked at it today well, right. this afternoon because I couldn't be there because, mm -hmm. yeah. well, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. So, all right. So, you would have, you would have done it and stuff. So, that's, that's excellent, right? Okay. So, um, yeah, let's close off. All right. So, adventures, attention. One. All right, mics. Turn on your mics. Turn on your mics, everyone. We're about to do mic turn. and activities, right? Right. Okay. So let's do the challenge. Present arms. Adventure pledge. Three. Four. Because you are the first me, I will always be my best. Very good. Arms. Right. Three, four. Jesus was Right. So adventure song. Three. We. We are adventurous. We are adventurous. Wonderful day. Please let us be obedient and return to you. Please let us do what is right in your name. Let us obey our mommies and daddies so we can live long in the land. Please let us not get COVID. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And we'll right. see you all next Bye. week. Right? Um, Bye. next week where we'll have where we'll continue the uh, my my family requirements. Family. Right. So bye bye everyone. Bye everybody. Bye. Oh, bye. Bye, Lila. Bye, bye, my granny. Bye, bye, bye. 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 B